and welcome to the Shamrock Tribe. I'm Ethan and today we're going to be playing War Game European Escalation. So this is a game which I've played a little bit of before, but that was some time ago, so I will be quite rusty. So we're going to be playing the um, campaign. As you can see, I've sort of done them before, but yeah, so Let's click next and start with the first mission. Um, okay. Sure. April 12, 1975. Fall of Phnom Penh. The Khmer Rouge seizes power. April 30th, 1975. Fall of Saigon. The United States Embassy is evacuated. May 1975, start of tensions between Cambodia and Vietnam. China and the USSR fight for control of Southeast Asia through their respective allies. July 17, 1975, the Apollo-Soyuz space mission underlines the U.S.-Soviet policy of detente. August 1, 1975, signature of the Helsinki Accords to try to calm east-west tensions. December 19, 1975, the East German soldier Vanna Weinwald deserts to the West, killing two border guards during his escape. December 20, 1975, the GDR demands the extradition of Weinwald to answer for the double murder. Bond refuses. December 21, 1975, border guards are on high alert on both sides of the Iron Curtain. Tension is at its peak between the two Germanys. Border guards have reported a skirmish in the area of Grafhorst. West German intelligence has detected movement from Panzer Ausbildungsregiment 19 not far from the border. The Panzer Brigade 2 is put on alert. Border guards have confirmed a violation of the territory of the Federal Republic by the East Germans. The Chancellery of Bonn declares a state of war. Infiltration in the area of Grafhorst. At least one mechanized battalion. Armored units have been spotted crossing the Iron Curtain at the crossing point. A border guard patrol group has reported being under enemy fire. It sounds like they need help. Right, so now we are in the game. And as you heard from the cutscene, we're playing the... Oh, what the hell is going on? Um, I can't seem to move for some reason. Ah. Right, okay, that's fix it. Yes, we know. So as I was saying, we are the Federal Republic of Germany. And we are going to repel an invasion from the German Democratic Republic. Now. I love history, so this sort of alternate history game is perfect for me. Um, now, yes, we right-click to move. And this game has a cover system, so you can hide behind... Um, what do you call them? Trees. Yes. Okay, allies are in green. So we have four Leopard 1s, and we're going to take out... These two T-34 85s, I think? Oh yes, 85 M's. So, where are we? We're currently there. Okay, let's move up to the tree line. A hedged farmland dense, indeed. Now, the slight problem... Ah, uh, yes. You see here, there are points. Now, the more points I get, um, the more reinforcements I will be able to bring in. So currently our force is rather 
Well, it's reasonable. Oh god, that's a bit loud. I mean, four leopard ones is nothing to laugh about, I suppose. Now, I always fail the objective, which is to take out that bit, because there's tons of men over there. Oh, oh, we are already within range. Open fire. Ah, yes. You can have a... Oh. Yes, we understand. Right, that's just a bit of info. We are going to tear that T-34, a new one. There we go. Now let's move up. Oh shoot, there's, there's something there. Halt. Well that was substantial. No, no, kill it. Don't move towards it. Fire! Okay, okay. Now hopefully this one doesn't get away. Though we are missing quite badly. Um... Oh, just shoot the goddamn thing. Do we have to move up closer, actually? Because I don't want my troops to get into trouble. Right, so currently that T-34... Oh! Stop shooting when you're on the move! Jesus! For goodness sakes. There we go! Now, yes, we can move fast, as it says, to travel down the roads. Recon Bravo Sector. Um, oh, there's the Scout Tank. Oh, whoops. The, uh, what was it? Yes, SBZ. Yeah, the SP said. Anyways, once hidden, a unit starts to blink. So we are going to... That's a swamp. Right. Now, we are going to use the SPZ. Yes, because it's stealthier. To scout out Bravo Sector. Which is up ahead, okay. Um, is that, does that count as cover? I'm not sure. Actually, let's just tell it to move fast there. We'll bring the tanks. Oh, oh shoot! Okay, tanks. Move fast, there. Right. The scout tank doesn't quite have the firepower for this. So we'll move in our main battle tanks up to that crossroad, crossroad and blast these T-34s out the sky. Out the sky. Off the face of the earth. Right, I think it's safe for the scout tank to move up and help provide visuals. Oh god, the T-34s are charging us. This- oh, even the scout tank is getting involved. Oh shoot, they're, they're attempting to flank. Well, not really, they're just charging more. 
Let's stop with them all. Now let's... Let's move up closer. Oh, he's gone. Hmm. Right, so everybody is calm. We appear to have enough ammunition. Let us move to the next crossroad. Right. So I'm not sure if the leopard is actually faster or what. Um. How? I've I've actually completely forgotten how to bring reinforcements in, so that'll have to come in later. Oh. Um. Oh. There was definitely something there. Let us bring up our units towards the bridge. And hopefully, we will be able to get a better view. How large is Bravo Sector? Oh, it is quite large. Okay, so we'll have to have a look through. Um, let's move up to that hedge. I'm not sure what it- it sort of reminds me of an ASU-85, except that, you know, it has a turret and a n no gun in the front, so not really. Okay, never mind. Um, let us see- oh, whoops, I clicked something. Right. The thing is, I'm- oh! There they are. Take it out. Come on, open fire, men. There we go, perfect. Right. Now we move up quickly. And hopefully there's nothing else hiding in those trees. What is that? Oh my god. That will mean infantry. Kill the lead one. Their aim is horrific. Oh, thank god. There we go. Oh my god. Fire on the infantry. Good. Take them out! What? Oh great, we're being outflanked. All units fall back! Oh wait, no. All units attack! Oh, we have a... We have a supply truck. Ah, there. There's the deployment menu. Right. Return fire on them! Yes, yes, we know. Okay, yes, I should probably explain. As it says, the battle group is persistent, so throughout... I think what it means is throughout the different missions, I keep the same battle group. Um, yes. And I get to unlock new units. There's like flamethrower tanks, I think, and whatnot, which is quite cool. Kill that T-55, please. Wipe it out. There we go. Okay. Where is our... Ugh. Move fast! Don't move through the bloody foliage. Right. We can get more Leopard ones. Or we can get the SPZ. 
I personally think that we should get more leopards. The supply truck, on the other hand, can help our current units to resupply with fuel and armaments. Now, where's our leopard ones? There they are. We're getting quite a substantial force now. Um, we need to destroy the enemy bridgehead and destroy the NVA's HQ. Now, my worry is, what happens if we meet more um, infantry? Because that can be quite devastating to our tanks. Yep, let's refuel all the tanks. Load them up with more shells. And that is, I think, all that the supply trucks had. Now, I'm not sure how you actually refill these supply trucks, or if that's even possible. So we'll just move it to the side first. Collect up our combat units. Now, I'm going to try the secondary objective. Because we have quite a sizable force. I mean, eight leopard... Oh, that one's been damaged. Eight leopard ones and an SPZ for recon. Let's move the SPZ up for some better sighting. And we might be able to see some... We, yeah, we might actually be able to see some of the enemy units. Or we could just charge across to form a, a bridgehead. And hopefully there won't be too much on the other side. Now imagine if they destroyed the bridge right now, and all our tanks died. Right, so there's an... Basically a BRDM-1. Okay, so let's move past the Iron Curtain, past watchtowers and all that. And there's a UAZ-469. Um, right, so... We'll need to move up a bit, I think. I actually want the SPZ to be in front, so that we can see a bit further. Oh, we've started firing already. Let's kill the enemy, because I think... Are these the missile carrying ones? No. There is a group of grenadiers coming in fast. I want to deal with them first. Good, because infantry can be quite devastating against tanks, actually. No, kill it. Don't walk to Oh, more infantry. No, wipe out the infantry. Don't rush them. Oh my god, no, the scout tank. Run, scout tank. Oh my god, they're charging us! Yes, psychological units are... The psychology on the units, rather. Open the fire! Good god!
Thank God we didn't take any losses. No! Scout tank, why? You were so young. You will be missed and remembered. Okay, let's do- Oh, he's, al he's alive, right. Nevertheless, we shall avenge the psychological damage on Scout Tank. Die, you pesky fucks. Well, these BRDMs are resilient, to say the least. There, take that, you bastard. Oh my god, this smoke and fire is making it hard to see. Oh, well, he's dead. And that's the secondary thing done. Right, now, we were actually meant to... Um... Yes, destroy the enemy bridgehead. An alpha sector. So we've dealt with Foxtrot. We control Kilo and... Charlie. So let's head for... Let's head for Alpha. Which is that town. Right. Now I've told our units to move... What's he doing? No, 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 this, this, this way. God. Right. Expressioncy, yes, I'm telling you to go there. Right, we set up in this forest. Move up, my panzers. Now... What are they doing? Get in! Okay, the problem is I don't want to waste ammunition. Oh dear, our tanks are starting to run low on fuel as well. And I haven't brought a logistics vehicle. We might have to move up to... We might have to move up here, though... Okay, it says Alpha, so we might be able to outflank them that way. Right, let's go to the... To, oh, oh, no, halt. Thanks, Scout Tank, you have saved us. So we've sighted something there. No, this, this way, everyone. Whatever that is, I think it's a T-55, it's about to, yeah, oh no, it's a T-34, it's about to die. Good. Now, let's quickly get into cover. Oh shit, BMP. Great. You people- oh. I was going to split our forces, but never mind. Oh my god, there's an incoming missile. Oh god, one of our tanks is out. Take out the BMP. Oh no, there's another BMP. Take out that BMP then. Oh my god, we're being surrounded. No, Scout Tank, you fool! Oh, oh, it's gone. Okay, all units focus on the BMP there. Right. 
Oh my god. We are... This is not good at all. We've lost a leopard. Which is quite frankly terrible. No, scout tank. Oh, get into cover then. Oh god. Oh god. The scout tank has decided to be a hero. Right, never mind. We'll have to take out the T-55s. Are they low on ammunition? Oh my goodness, these leopards. I swear. Oh good, they're retreating. Now fire on the BMP! Oh my god, I thought it was getting out of cover. There we go. Now, fire on the T-55s which are retreating. No survivors. For goodness sake, stop panicking. Oh my god, you morons. Is everyone- oh my goodness. We will take a position where the T-55s are- what is detract? Is- oh, one of our T- uh, T- one of our leopards is stuck. Oh my god! What is that? Fire on that! There we go, though we've lost yet another leopard due to my poor tactical decisions. Okay. Uh, I don't actually want that. Oh my god, T-34s! It's a forest fight. Oh my goodness, we've lost three tanks already. Now we take out that rifle squad. Well, that was quick. Um, kill them. There we go. Oh, stabilization malfunction. Don't tell me we'll have to engage in urban warfare. With tanks, because that never works out well. Oh god, the tanks desperately need fuel. We need a logistics vehicle. I'll bring in four. Right. Oh my god, the fuel s supplies are really low. Oh, when you zoom out like this, you can hear other people in the quote-unquote war room that you're in. Okay, we need those logistic vehicles fast. This is the base, right? Well, there's the command vehicle, at least. Right, let's get over here. The stabilization malfunction is almost fixed. And yes, the logistic vehicles are on the way.
Right. Now, I don't really want to advance further in whilst our vehicles are this badly damaged. And low on fuel. Oh my goodness, fine. Destroy the enemy bridgehead. There might be units up there, then. Well, there are enough shells in the gun, I suppose. Let's move to the center of the town. Worse come to worse, I think by the time this gets there, we can use these two to reinforce these three leopard ones. Right. There didn't appear to be anything here. I don't think we can call in anything. Yeah, that. Well, we can call in a tank, which is not the most useful. Destroy the enemy bridgehead. Do we have to go across the border? Oh, we should... Actually, let's just move fast. Right, so full on fuel, full on ammo, Somewhat repaired. Oh god, the fuel supplies are getting extremely low. Oh my god, there they are. Fire, fire on it, quickly. Oh my god, one of our tanks got hit, and was taken out. Oh my goodness, are we actually gonna have to sweep the streets? How far does Alpha Sector go? We're on the edge of it. They could be anywhere. Oh my goodness, where's... ah, oh, there it is. We will actually have to sweep the entire town, won't we? Oh god, they don't even have that much fuel left. We're going to have to bring in two more of these. What's he doing? Get over here. Oh my god. Well, that's dealt with it. Hooray! We saved the FRG, I suppose, somehow. So, oh, god damn it. I did lose several units. So, wow, our tanks racked up a lot of points. So, one of our tanks, let's see what they were killed by. BMP, 
a, a motorized infantry division, a unit, sorry, and a T-55. So it's mostly, the infantry appear to be, like, after we stunned them with the shells, it seems fine. So, yeah, all in all, quite good. Quite good! I lost three tanks. But yeah. Anyways, I think I'm going to stop there. So thank you very much for watching the first episode of Wargame European Escalation on the Shamrock Tram. And I shall see you again next time. Hit the like and subscribe button if you enjoyed the video. And goodbye! <laughs>